Defamation is a legal way to talk about hurting someone's reputation. Think of it as defaming them, taking away their fame or reputation. Defamation is basically saying something false about someone identifiable that causes significant hurt to their reputation. Defamation comes in two flavors, slander, which is spoken, and libel, which is published. Since we're talking about student media, we're talking about publishing. Now for a spoiler. You can avoid any worries about defamation just by doing one thing. Great journalism. If you maintain a healthy skepticism, use solid authoritative sources, and check your facts well, you can avoid being accused of libel or slander. That's the key. Avoid rumors and single source claims, and be aware of your own biases and double check the facts. You know, all that stuff journalists do. That's the heart of it, but let's look at a few details. One thing that sometimes comes up is the difference between claiming something is a fact versus stating a pure opinion. If you write an op-ed that says, in my opinion, Principal Jones doesn't know much about finances, so he shouldn't be in charge of the school budget, that's an opinion and it's not subject to libel claims. But if you wrote, Principal Jones can't even balance a checkbook in a news story, that would be claiming a fact. So unless you show clear proof of this, you might have a libel concern. And another thing that can be tricky is the part of harming reputation. To meet the standard for libel, harming someone's reputation has to be really significant. We're not talking about hurting their feelings or causing a mild embarrassment. Harming reputation has to be more important, like hurting their ability to get work or damaging their reputation as a student or claiming they're a liar without evidence. Another question that comes up looks at having a quote from someone outside the publication saying something defamatory. For example, if you have a quote from a student saying, Principal Jones was driving drunk Saturday night, and you publish it without any evidence, is your publication in danger of a libel suit? Yes, because your publication is responsible for that unsupported claim, which can certainly harm Jones' reputation significantly. But let's go a little deeper here. If your source said instead, I saw Principal Jones drink eight beers in a row at Smith's Restaurant Saturday night between 7 and 9 p.m., then drive away, well, that's one thing. Of course, you'd want to give Jones a chance to comment, and you should get at least one more reliable source for an explosive claim like that. It would be simpler if Jones was arrested and charged with driving under the influence. Then there's a public record of the arrest, and citing that would legitimize the story. To sum it all up, don't publish things that aren't true. And if you think something might be harmful to someone's reputation, be triple sure to have your evidence lined up. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.